got to turn the turn signals on. There we go. The turn signals have a uh, a uh, power switch. Otherwise, the battery runs out. Oh. Anyway, it's, just, it's July 20th, which is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, 15 hours into the day. Oh. And, and we're going get, to get into a little bit a deeper understanding of things. that came out of the dream waking up feeling like that it run a marathon and but well it was like that they're very active this would be we we'll call this would be something along the lines of an action movie if you would describe the scenery and what was interesting and I've known this for a while but I never really sort of experienced it on any side of conflict, it's within uh, the sort of the minutia of society. The Christians of the East always existed. They were just hidden. The, er, the early Christian church, even though it was never really seen after about a thousand AD, was always there, just in a hidden form. And so. This dream was sort of took place in World War II, and we had to stop the evil empire sort of type of thing. And this, these were the Nazis. And of course, they, they were modern day figure today, like you know Trudeau and uh, Biden, who are basically the faces of things. And this is what I say is you know Lionel, if he thinks that Hitler was the only the only, only issue, and that it was only all about the Jews. Well, I'm sorry being deluded by some of his friends uh, and I said the way you want to understand this is you want to go, in, go into Gnosis uh, and understand who the Gnosis are and understand why not that the uh, uh, that the Nazis had the swastika why they had the swastika there is a particular reason for it uh, and, and that kind of explains a lot of what was actually going on. And without this sort of understanding, uh, you'll miss an enormous amount of what was going, uh, what was actually happening during that period. And I said that period really sort of capped an end. It was the end point of an era that had been looking at genetics as the final solution uh, to why humans behave so poorly. You know, they were trying to look at trying to resolve the so social issues in the way we're doing today. And they, this, their assumption was, oh, this is the people, it's genetic. And the comments on the other side, see, the comments are on the other side, socialism is about social engineering altogether. It's the social understanding theory. It's never really worked. Because on both sides, whether well, it's eugenics or, or the environment, and this is where the environmentalists come from. They come from the communist side of it. They were the part of the communist. They weren't the entire thing. But they were an aspect of the 
know, they clawed the mobile, if you will. Clawed the machine. And this is who they were. And so they always were all these environmentalists that the environment had to be clean, that, you know, the body is the temple, and another is always worship of the body, worship of the physical. And they simply dismissed the spiritual altogether. These were the materialists. And ironically enough, the end point of the materialists always evolved from a state of high society into an animalistic existence that had no purpose or meaning. In other words, it became chaotic, it became tribal, and then ended up in self-destruction. This is what was described in Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. You can sort of see this, and you can sort of see the same thing to a certain degree uh, within uh, Brothers Karamazov. And this is what Delilah talk, talk, talks about calling them jadules. He gives you the origin of the word, which is nice. Uh, this is what Dostoevsky described the left as, his idiots and, and, and um, possessed. He's got two books on that. And why idiots white possessed? And it's particularly the first one, well, the, 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 we'll call it the possessed, is the primary one that they understand idiots. Because that's the context it sits in. When you're possessed, you're not of your own mind. The mind becomes de demonic, or whatever, and, and it's of whatever possesses you. Some people like their cars, they like shopping, and if, you know, I, 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 some of the vlogs, these people would consider themselves to be Christian. They're, they're Hispanic. And yet, their primary thing is shopping. They love shopping. And the thing is, you see them, you see people on the internet shopping more often than not. Well, that's the religion. If a person shops more than they go to church, or more than they consider their prayers, then that's the person's religion. Christianity isn't the religion. It's a religion for them. <clears throat> Shopping becomes the uh, primary religion. Perfectly, and you can see what's going on today. Understanding Dostoevsky, is described perfectly in the cartoon uh, Teen Titans Go, and it is it's the Raven's father uh, Trigon, the demon, teaching his daughter how to be a, how to be how to be a demon. And it's about the slave, and, and at the end, it's about destroying them, everything she loves, killing them. In other words, there is no love within the demonic sphere. And this describes what we know in. in Notice as the left hand path. The left hand left hand path describes those who exist in the demonic sphere. These spheres are often viewed artistically as circles, and this is what you see in the Olympics. Is that these are the spheres of demonic influence. And so we're a world bathed in demonic understanding, but demonic influence. 
And most people don't choose to do the right thing. There's always some form of desire that pulls a person. And again, the, 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 the demons don't force you to do it. They simply entice you. Well, what's your favorite thing? What's your, what's your, what's your, you like girls? You like, uh, how, long, how young do you like them? You like boys? So oh, here you go. And it's about doing anything you want, anything you need. It is hedonism. And if the person can convince you, of he, if the demon can convince you of hedonism, they've got you. But the other thing is, even let's say they don't convince you of hedonism. Do you want a particular position as a professor? Do you want entry to a particular school? You know, you're dying to go to this particular school. Huh? And someone offers you, oh, come with me and I'll get you into that school. Do you sell out? I know people who have. And this is what the people, uh, Lionel, no, Lionel needs to understand is that the people on the left, particularly, but not also, also on the right, this is why the Republicans are in, in effect at this point. While they are right on the political spectrum, they are still fundamentally left as in terms of the uh, no, not that they are compromised with demonic influences. summer. Uh, the days are starting to shorten. It is just 21 hours and about 30 minutes into the day, into the 20th day of July and we are off uh, at the end back home to the second home or first home or how you want to Stop and make sure my lights are on. We're on. And they were. right-hand path is focused on spirituality and 
spiritual existence. Of course, most politicians aren't necessarily concerned with the spiritual, but more concerned with the physical and what they can gain from the here and now. And so, this is the thing for why don't the Republicans or, or, or the conservatives do anything? And that's because they're actually part of the left. And those, these include those who call themselves, uh, you know, Christian conservatives and so on and so forth. They're not really there for Christ. And they, will, they, they don't understand or don't see how they're part of the left. That their existence is on the left-hand path, and what they have is simply the pretense of being on the right. And this is what sort of what sort of what defines the matrix is that they're they're bound within the entirely within evil, with the all-seeing eye of Lucifer. That's the triangle in the eye inside the triangle. That's the all-seeing eye of Lucifer. And this is what the entire European and Western Christianity Enlightenment is, sits with it. It has no sense of, if you will, independence. Is compromised, sold out for a particular reason, will not understand or support anything along the lines that we see with, within the within the sort of with being self-sacrificing. The requirements for blackmailed by the left-hand path and the core of this actually is within Israel and this is something that Lionel refuses to see it's not that he can't see it he just, this is something this is where this is where you what we call ignorance ignorance isn't the something isn't the stuff that you can't see or don't understand is Ignorance is, are, are, is the thing that you will not understand, you don't want to see. And it's, it's not, it's not, it's, oh, well, but you're being anti, anti-Semitic. Well, no, because we're simply talking about the foreign, the, the, the foreign interactions, the foreign relationships, you know, the, the, the sort of the foreign policy of Israel. And the foreign policy, the policy of Israel uh, can be seen quite clearly. As I use the spectrum term of Mossad, and I use Mossad and all these other terms as spectrums, not necessarily at this point in time, anyways, going into the details of the specifics. Now, Lionel will do the same thing to, to a certain degree, but he has his specifics behind the firewall because he says, well, they won't, they're not allowed on YouTube. Well, I haven't had that problem yet. Uh, I know my information gets out there. It doesn't get out there as quickly, maybe, as some other people. I'm not as popular, but it does get out there. It does have an influence. And it doesn't matter whether I get the credit for it or not. It's the fact that it has the influence. That's the key. And the thing is, you have even... This is sort of the latest battle that got me shadow banned on on uh, on Instagram. It has to do with um, the Sea Shepherd uh, run by Greenpeace that attacks uh, fishing ships, and it's decked out like a warship. And you have a group of these ecologists along the lines of these social social justice warriors condoning violence. So here's a group of people who are religious about the environment, and they're now saying, in the name of the environment, they will attack and kill people 
they will cause war. That, that this war is now just because it's because of it's, it's for the environment. And it, 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 they're making they're making the neocons very happy because the ones the neocons are the weapons are the weapons manufacturers. The neocons sell into these groups. Any group who wants to do warfare, the neocons sell into. In other words, that's a foreign warfare. And it, and Lionel says this too. He's not a Republican. But at the same time, he also wasn't a Democrat. He was sort of simply in the party, but at the same time, although some of his, his, his see, a lot of his, his leanings in terms of the way he saw things was typically on the left. These are these were the arguments the left had picked up, and unfortunately, a large chunk of his sort of causes uh, were in the line of what we call moral theory or hedonism, and hedonism. Is a bad place to be <laughs> because it cre creates a contradiction when you're trying to say that something is immoral. You can't because you, it's well, it's things are more are, are morally relative. And once you've taken the position of moral relativity, you can't go back and say, well, no, here's where we draw the line. It creates a contradiction, and this is sort of the same thing with you know the whole thing with children, what's going on with children now, which has always been going on. I mean, this is the thing with Pizza Gate, and now he says, you know. There was a protest, and you know, that involved uh, so-called fascist. <laughs> fascist and pedophile. So, if you are now against pedophilia, pedophilia, you're now a fascist. He didn't. He, and then Lionel didn't pick up on this. He didn't pick up on the fascist that, that, that these groups are fascists. He picked the, 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 the it's now socially unacceptable to be support and to protect children. And he had the opportunity there to say, look, here's the here's the morality of the people on the left. And I think the left is the reason why the left have sexuality for children has primarily to do with the fact that the most powerful magic that you have in the left, this is where you get into Gnosis, why you have to understand Gnosis within uh, its uh, proper historical context, which includes today as well, which is, you know, is because Gnosis on the left-hand path, the right is the most powerful magic from that of children. <laughs>